If you look at the requirements for the DDGX, it says that it needs to have a traditional Mark 41 vertical launch system, and that it needs to have a larger VLS that can have greater depth and larger diameter missiles stored in it. So Lockheed Martin, when they saw those requirements a couple of years ago, started investment. That investment has developed into the growth VLS. Coming up next on the Stealth Channel. Lockheed Martin is developing a brand new vertical launch system, or VLS, for the U.S. Navy's Next Generation Guided Missile Destroyer Program, also known as DDGX. A company official revealed the preliminary details of the VLS to Naval News during an interview at Sea Airspace 2023. The new VLS is called Growth VLS, or GVLS for short. It is a completely new and separate VLS from Lockheed Martin's Mark 41 series of launchers. As this is a relatively new development by Lockheed Martin, Naval News could not obtain photos or concepts of the launcher. Development on the system comes from one of the capabilities seen from DDGX's concept, specifically that of large missile launcher cells. These new cells are to support future missiles, such as hypersonics, that could not be supported by the existing Mark 41 VLS series due to width, depth, and other constraints. When asked what dimensions they were working with for DDGX's new VLS cells, Lockheed Martin stated that the Navy did not specify and that they were designing GVLS based off their own research. However, it is not hard to guess that this research was partially based on the U.S. Navy's conventional prompt strike hypersonic missile. These missiles will initially be fitted in the soon-to-be-upgraded Zumwalt-class missile destroyers. The Lockheed Martin official emphasized that GVLS could support the packing of multiple traditionally cell-sized missiles from the Mark 41 VLS, such as the standard missile family of missiles. He said, but as part of being able to do a larger diameter missile, you could say take an 8-cell Mark 41 out, put what would be a 4-cell with an exhaust on it. But those 4 cells would be able to handle quad packs of traditional missile canister-sized, or potentially larger missiles that will be coming in the future. So that's part of one of the things we're investing in that will help us maximize what you can do from your loadout perspectives and potentially even increase. Because if you think about it, with a 4-cell quad pack that's 16 and more than the 8 that were originally there, just because we changed the structure. The GVLS is in the early stages of development, with technologies being taken away from existing VLS such as the ground-based mid-range capability and the single-cell launcher. The Lockheed Martin spokesman said, deleveraging what happened on mid-range capability with a cylindrical exhaust and some of the modifications that are part of the single-side VLS that can be applied into a naval solution. GVLS is being constructed this year for tests, although the Lockheed Martin official stated that these tests were only for fit checks and that no firing from the launcher would take place. We hoped you enjoyed learning more about Lockheed Martin's new growth VLS. We look forward to learning more about it as it continues to develop. Be sure to like, subscribe, share and leave a comment to help this channel grow and thanks for watching.